So Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person, we got the Five of Swords and it's with the Four of Wands. Now the Five of Swords, you could find yourself with some mixed feelings. Could be about life, maybe a person or a few people in particular. Don't ignore these feelings, but don't feel like you have to speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either. As you could ruin the very things that you want the most. Such as close, such as close intimate relationships with your friends, with your lover. So this Five of Swords, it's an indicator that you should probably think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. Yeah, you have to pick your battles. Now it's with the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands, it indicates that you could be attending a special event. It will be it will be way more fun than you're anticipating. So go. You'll have a good time. If you have a business, it's likely to be going really well. You'll be proud of yourself and others will be proud of you. Although this is a positive card to get in a reading, it does show that there's a need to keep your wits about you. That although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, but just know you're probably still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. Also, the Four of Wands, it can indicate that you might be thinking of moving or changing your place of residence. So Capricorn, what I'm getting with this Five of Swords, clarified by the Four of Wands for the recent past energy for you and your person, I'm picking up that you, Capricorn, could have been ready for commitment. Um, because the Four of Wands, you see, it's 11-11. Um, it's indicating marriage, commitment, long term. Yeah, the Four of Wands is the marriage and commitment card. So I'm getting that a lot of you, you were, you were with someone. You were ready for the relationship to go to the next level or ready for marriage, engagement, commitment. And I'm getting for... For some of you, you didn't get it. You didn't get this from your person. They weren't, they weren't ready or they weren't willing to. It did, put it this way, it didn't happen for one reason or another. But you were ready for, for something serious with your person. And it ultim ultimately, it left you mad. Because if you look at the picture of the Five of Swords, it's a card above the word pass. You see this man, he's got two swords in his hand, and he's got three on the ground right next to him. I don't know if you can see the details of his face, but if you put your screen on full, on full mode, it'll blow up the images of the card, of the cards. But his face, it looks really angry mad, upset, ready to pick a fight. Yeah, there were people sitting around this fire. See the fire on the ground? There were people sitting there. But when they got a look at this man, they all scrammed. They ran. And now the dogs or the wolves that are in front of them, you see, they're, they're getting a glimpse of them also, and they're about to run. They're about to take off like the speed of light or lightning. So, yeah, you didn't get what you wanted out of the relationship, out of this person, which was commitment. You didn't get marriage or engagement that you thought you would get from this person. And it ultimately, it left you, it left you really mad. Or you just felt angry. 
inside. And you could have, for some of you, you took, took out your anger, your disappointment, or your hurt. You took that out on other people. You know, whenever, whenever, whenever you came into the room, or whenever you uh, uh, met someone, or you were with other people. They could feel your anger, and you probably scared a lot of people away or turned a lot of people off. People can, a lot of times people can feel other people's energy. So, yeah, this situation, it left you, it left you not happy. So, sorry about that for whoever this resonated with. But as we all know, life goes on. But let's see what's coming up for you and your person. So we got this judgment card, and it's with the Three of Cups. Now the judgment card, it can be about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and judgments that are made too fast, made too hastily. And if you're prone to doing such things, it's a sign to slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances. This can also be a time of spiritual awakening. Now it's with the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is often considered to be a card of reunions, but that's, that's not its only connotation. It can mean a reunion in the broadest sense of running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you've been away from for some time. That you've been away from for some time. <clears throat> Yeah, it's considered to be a happy reunion, upbeat. It could also mean celebration. Your own or someone that you care about. Maybe celebrating around a new baby, a wedding, or some type of happy occasion. Okay, so what's coming up for you and your person? Judgment and Three of Cups. Clarify by Three of Cups. Okay, so... Capricorn, it looks like this, this person or your person that you wanted the connection to go to the next level or you wanted marriage or commitment from them and you, you didn't get it and it left you unhappy, that person. It looks like they could be trying to make a return in some kind of way because this Three of Cups, the card below the word present, It can mean a reunion with a long lost love or just someone from the past returning. It can indicate that. Um, yeah, so I'm getting that for some of you, this person, they'll be reaching out to you. Um, they're, they're thinking you, well, for some reason they want to come back. It's showing that they think they, they could be thinking that you'll be happy to hear from them or they could be thinking that you could make them happy some type of happiness here because yeah re, the three of cups is about a happy come together so maybe they thinking that you make them feel good in some kind of way but we have the judgment card here. Um, you'll be very judgmental. Most of you are going to be very judgmental towards this person. And you're not offering any type of forgiveness. Now, judgment, the judgment card is very judgmental. They jump to judgment card, jumps to conclusions. And it doesn't give second chances. It does not. And I say that because um, it usually, let me put it this way, it usually doesn't give second chances. The judgment card, it, um, it, uh, the relationship can be at a make or break. 
It could go either way, put it that way. But uh, judgment with this card, you have a hard time offering forgiveness. A very hard time offering forgiveness. But here they come. Here they come. And you're probably still mad. Because you thought the relationship was going to go somewhere. And you felt like they rejected you. So deep down inside, they're coming back. But it looks like you're, I'm sure you're still pissed. Because judgment is here. And it's showing that a lot of you are going to be very, very judgmental towards this person. So let's move on over and let's see what's the challenge, what the challenge is going to be. So we got the Three of Wands and so the Ten of Wands. Now the Three of Wands, you could find your finances are going better than you thought possible. It could feel like a month or a time. That your ship has finally arrived. Your ship has finally come in. So you're likely to be feeling very strong with a good reason. You could finally experience some important or some huge success that you've been. Some huge success that, um, I'm sorry, I'm fumbling my words, but you may finally experience some important success after you've been through some difficulty. The Three of Wands, it can refer to work in a very positive way or just life overall. Even if you don't work outside the home, it can mean that your efforts, they're seen, appreciated, and are well respected. Now, as with the Ten of Wands, with this card, you could feel as though you're carrying a heavy burden. Because if you look at the picture of the Ten of Wands, it's a card below the word challenge. This man, he's walking forward, but he's actually about to fall backwards. So, you may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you might lighten your load. Either literally or figuratively. Because if you look carefully, you could find that part of the burden you're carrying it actually belongs to someone else. Yeah, whether it's emotionally or physically. So it's going to be important for you to pace yourself and try not to take on too much. So your challenge, Capricorn, Three of Wands, clarified by this Ten of Wands. So yeah, like I said, your person, they, they're trying to come back. And they feel like you could make them happy, make them feel good, or some type of happiness here. They think they can get out of you or give to you. I don't know. But you're being judgmental. You're still hurt. And it looks like the challenge is that with this Ten of Wands here. Yeah, you could find that um, it's too difficult to give your emotional energy back to this person. Because it looks like you gave it to them once. Or maybe more than once. You gave it to them in a real big way with this Four of Wands showing up here. But it felt like it got rejected. Because you were ready for something serious. Commitment, relationship, marriage. And they didn't give it to you. So. You, you feel like. With them coming back. It would just be. Probably another letdown. An emotional drain. You, you don't want the life to be sucked out of you again. So, it looks like, because we got the Three of Wands here, you could feel like, um, you're going, Three of Wands is about going forward, 
making a decision. So it looks like you've, you're going forward. You've made a decision. And I don't, I don't think it's with this person. I don't. Because, it, like I said, you feel like it would just suck the life out of you again. Being with this person. Because it's showing that they... The recent past energy, they weren't ready for what you were ready for. So you're going forward. You made a decision. You leave this person behind. Um, your ship has finally arrived. Like I said, the Three of Wands, it indicates that um, you're feeling very strong with a good reason. And you're finally experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulties. So you're looking ahead with expansion and growth. So I'm getting the feeling that you're, you're going forward, but it's not with this person. So... Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We have the Three of Pentacles. And it's with the Six of Wands. Okay, so the Three of Pentacles is a very positive card. Could be related to work, career, family, romance. Really good overall card. In the deck, it means that you're doing well. Three of Pentacles tells you that people around you, they appreciate you. They appreciate you and your efforts, and they notice the quality of work you do, even if you don't get paid for it. It does tell you to keep doing what you're doing because you're right on track. There could be some room for improvement, but you will not have to scrap something and then start again. Yeah. Now, with the Three of Pentacles, just a little side note. It tells you that... If you already know someone that you're interested in, it tells you that they see you in a positive light as someone who has all the qualities that they've always been looking for. Although love, is, love has not quite developed yet. So there's a need to be patient. Yeah, so someone could be in your world already that sees you in a very positive light. But love or relationship hasn't quite developed yet. So that's interesting. So someone has seen you in a really great way. I just had to throw that in there and let you know. So it's this, that's the Three of Pentacles now. It's with the Six of Wands. Six of Wands signals victory. So if you're anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart, just know that you will be victorious. This can indicate any kind of celebration. You could be a part of a graduation party, a commencement celebration, or maybe receiving a reward for good work that you've done. The Six of Wands makes you feel really good about yourself. You could feel like you've got a lot of support from a whole lot of people around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else. By where adoring them makes you feel amazing. Because Six of Wands is the card below the word outcome. You see how she's standing on a podium. She's waving her wand in the air. And she's got all these people below her. They're doing the same thing. They're mimicking her. They're mirroring her. She's experiencing success, recognition, and victory. So the outcome for you, Capricorn, is actually beautiful. Yeah, like I said, you find it too difficult to deal with this person who, who might have rejected your offer for commitment or marriage. Yeah. So you're going forward. You're getting on your ship. It's finally come in. You're, go, you're getting on there without them. And the outcome is showing that... It's showing that you're going to have vict a lot of victory and success. Could be with life, some new beginnings. I'm picking up, for a lot of you, it's with someone new. 
And for some of you, it's with someone that you already know. This person sees you in a very, very positive light. As someone that has all the qualities that they've been looking for. But there's a need to be patient. Yeah. And it's showing that you're going to have victory and success. In, because the Six of Wands, to me it's that soulmate type of energy where you two mirror each other. Twin flame, soulmate. Yeah, they those type of um, energies, twin flame, soulmate, they kind of mirror each other. That's what the Six of Wands does. Six of Wands, you get a lot of, um, a lot of, you get a lot of passion with the Six of Wands. Because it suggests that you might need someone to boost your ego. You could be that type where the other person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring. This type of energy is called fire of balance. The two of you feed off of each other energetically. So put it this way. It's showing that someone could come into your world that you have a lot of chemistry with. And it's going to feel magical, like a mystical time for you when it comes to the relationship. Yeah, the two of you will mirror each other. It's going to feel like you've known this person all your life. And with the Six of Wands, you get a lot of sexual energy. So there is passion and long nights spent in bed. Yeah, it's it's a great... It's a magnetism. What do you call it? It's, it's great magic. It's Six of Wands is... Put it this way, it's victory, you get victory, you get success, and a lot of recognition from your person. Great chemistry. Yeah, and like I said, for a lot of you, it's someone that you already know. They see you in a very positive light. Could be someone new coming towards you. Like I said, you did get on that ship without your person. A lot of people are usually on ships. You feel like your ship had finally arrived. Yeah, so nice, really nice outcome for you. So, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself. Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Capricorn. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member, or a situation. And yes, also, the roles can be reversed. You could be your person, or your person could be you. Take the reading for however it resonates. Because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So, Capricorn, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I, have, I hope that you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.